This is the guy, Opulent LD TV, and I'm back. What's cracking, family? Now, look, I just got done watching Kodak Black's interview on Drink Champs. And first off, let me get a give a full on disclosure. I am a heavy Kodak Black fan. Young man from Broward. I remember when he first came in the game. A lot of people will will say he's got a lot of ignorant music, but if you listen to a lot of tracks that aren't on the radio, I know and feel, I feel and know that he's a very intelligent young man. But of course, you know how it is when a lot of these young artists get in the game. They play along with the game. They put out a lot of music that that's catchy. You know, it's all about getting that bag for most artists. But anyway, man, this interview is about two and a half hours. And I just have to keep it a buck, oh man. This interview was very hard to listen to. Kodak Black is clearly and obviously under the influence of some drug during the course of this interview. And of course, most people will be like, well, you don't know Broward's language and language. And and I call bullshit on that because, yes, I'm in Dade County. And. Yes, I understand that even in Dade County, you know, they got their own slanguage and language, but having slanguage and language is one thing and just being almost almost completely incoherent is a, is another thing. Like you can just barely understand them for for the most part of the interview. I felt like I was listening in braille. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. I did understand quite some of it, but then there's some of it like, hmm, it's like I'm, I had to like literally make out, okay, he meant this, he meant that. And the, the sad thing about it is uh, Nori and everybody's literally carrying on with their interview as if nothing is wrong with them. Now, look, I've seen plenty of Kodak Black interviews. And he can speak in a way where you truly understand everything he says. And in this Drink Champs interview, like I said, he was just clearly under the influence of something. And what I want, man, I want I want Kodak Black to get help. I, I would definitely I hate to see him crash and burn in public like this. Of course, I don't know him personally or nothing, but it was just sad to to listen to. Just from the outside looking in, it uh, it uh, assume I assume that he has a bunch of enablers around him. Of course, nobody around him can truly live for him. Of course, he's gonna do what he wants to do. But if you truly love this man, you're gonna get him some help. Because you can't have him out there representing his brand like that. He's doing his brand an injustice, I believe. You could have at least been like, okay, just let's just wait till whatever you got in your system pass through. Pass through you. And then get on there and do the interview. But uh, to have him doing his interview and sounding like that, that's not cool, man. That's not cool at all. <laughs> Kodak's a solid little young buck, man. He's already an OG. He's he's still a young dude. He's still an OG. He's been through a lot in his life, and for me, it was just really disheartening to to listen to it. And the interview actually seemed longer than two hours and like thirty minutes, just based on the fact that you're. I was constantly trying to <laughs> understand. Like, okay, he said this. Okay, he's. I'm sitting. I'm, 
consistently trying to decipher what he's saying throughout the whole interview. It, shit, it felt like four hours. No cap. For me, it felt like four hours. What I want, I want Kodak to get some help. That's what I want. Of course, from the outside looking in again, I want him to live a long, fulfilled life. But hey, at the end of the day, he's got to live his life for him. So, ain't nothing I can really do but just stand on the outside looking in. That's all I can do. And I just really wish him the best. And I, of course, I got I still got love for drink champs and all that. But man, I was that was that was a little bogus, man. I would have personally told my man like, "Hey, bro, just come back and do this tomorrow." So when you clear up a little bit, like I said, I've heard plenty of interviews of Kodak, and he can talk clear, <laughs> a lot way clearer than that. <laughs> but hey, man, won't y'all hop in my comments? Let me know what you think about this. <laughs> Give me your thoughts. Smash that like button. It's free 99. If you're new here, smash that sub button. Blessings to the mighty LDBC. I am Opulent LDTV. Reminding you that we need these streets. Prosper energetically. I'm gone.